For me, I take BP7 500 year round, but this might also be something to look at taking. Now, I will say with BPC157, there's no PIP, meaning you don't even feel the injection. Uh, same with TB500, but the copper peptide in here, the GHKCU, that stuff does have a little sting. Not going to lie, there's a little sting. Just be cognizant of that when um, if you do buy this peptide and do use it. So this blend is, in my opinion, built around simple ideas, simple concepts. It supports your body's natural repair process. It doesn't mask pain like ibuprofen. You're not just training through pain. The goal of this to, is, is to increase your body's propensity to actually heal, right? To actually heal and recover, to repair damaged tissue. So the blend, this blend, this is the 70 milligram one. So this one right here is five milligrams of BPC-157, 10 milligrams of TB-500, and 35, 35 milligrams of the GHKCU. And you hear people talk about it. It's mentioned on social media here and there. It's called the Glow Stack. I actually was training with somebody I've known for years in this industry, a fellow company owner. He's telling me how someone he knew like messed up their ankle. I forgot how the, what the injury was. I didn't know what Glow was at the time. He said, yeah, he took this stuff called Glow. And like in two weeks, he made like 10 weeks worth of recovery. I'm like, really? I got to look into what that is. So let's go over each ingredient, how to use it, where to use it how many times a day, how to reconstitute it, like how much bacteriostatic water, all that good stuff. But let's briefly go over what each of these peptides does. So BPC-157, I've done multiple videos on this peptide. Think localized recovery. What is it? It's a fragment derived from a naturally occurring protein in the body. It's been studied for its role in tissue protection and repair. So what's interesting about BPC-157 for injuries is that um, is its association with tendon, ligament, muscle, connective tissue support. So in preclinical research and in rodent data, again, the, the, the human data in these are limited, which is why I always say consult with your doctor. It has been shown to influence angiogenesis. That's the formation of new blood vessels. So this matters because areas like tendons, ligaments, they suffer from poor blood supply, which slows the healing. 